All right, we're back at Dell Web today, and we're going to see a different series. We're going to see both models. You know, I've been struggling with this. Yes. So, so you know how sometimes you have three different sizes, like you yeah. can go small, medium, and large, but even the small isn't small. No. It's su still super, or we're in the mediums today. We're in the medium, yeah. And then I was thinking about, you know, sometimes it's good, better, and best. Yeah. But that's not the case here. It's no. It's best, best, and best. They're all three. I like them all. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's just the, the lifestyle you want to live, the size of the house you want to live. How much cleaning do you want to do? Yeah. That kind of stuff. So if you want to clean a lot, we got the good <laughs> so, over there. Well, that sounds kind of negative. If you want to clean a little, we got that too. <laughs> what if I don't want to clean at all? You hire somebody. You can hire somebody, yeah. absolutely. Actually, these are so open. You just go in with a leaf blower and just That's true. run it all right out the back door. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We're totally off topic <laughs> again. I'm like, hey, if we haven't met, back in the game, I'm Jeff Gregg, this is Mark Klim. If you're looking to buy a house in nine days, nine months, nine years, nine millennium, whatever that other word is, if we're just here looking for to buy you if house. you're just looking to buy a house. Yeah. In Del Webb here, obviously one of our favorite neighborhoods, amenity center here is amazing. Awesome. We'll just, do a full walk through Yeah, that. you'll see all that in here. But we're in the middle section. There's, there's four models of these middle size homes. I'm yep. going to do the two we have uh, uh, the papers on, and then we're going to see if you remember the other two. That Why are you always going to put me yeah. on the spot? So this is the distinctive series. We've got the Prosperity and the Palmery. Those are the ones we're going to walk through today. And and we have the Prestige, which one of our clients is building. Yep. And a Mystique, which also one of our clients yeah. is going to build. Yeah. So we'll get videos on those later since we don't have the models here for those. But at least we can see these two, right? Yeah, let's walk in and see these ones. All right, so in the distinctive series, the Prosperity, this could be two to four bedrooms, two to three baths, two car garage, and go from 1600 square feet all the way up to 2372. Lots of options, uncovered patio, covered patio. Uh, you can turn the one flex space into a third bedroom. Lots of options for you. And there's like four different elevations, right? Yeah, so the elevations will have different front porches and some of them are brick and stone. And you know, and remember this neighborhood, all hardy plank. Oh, hey. What? No, some lights are already on. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's still gonna work. Oh, yep, it works. There it goes. So right in the front door, off to the left, got a full bath there. Mark, show that that shower there. So one thing that you, people want to think about a lot in these homes is, uh, in this bathroom, do you want a tub or do you want a walk-in shower? And and those are options when you build. A lot of people think it would be nice to have at least one tub. Mm -hmm. in the house. Maybe they don't want it in the primary, but they want it up here. So if you ever have grandkids visiting, little grandkids that need a bathtub, you've got that as they an option. Yeah. Nice secondary bedroom and reach-in closet. Not a walk-in, but a reach-in. I feel like these curtains fake me out because they're just... You want to pull them across? Yeah, I do. They're just totally decorative. <laughs> And there's no function to them whatsoever outside of looking pretty. They look that, pretty. That's like me. There's no function. There's no use to be. I just look pretty. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it wasn't the no function part you're arguing with. It's the pretty part you're arguing with. I, I see what you're doing Maybe. there. You're very functional. Let's just say that. <laughs> I see what you did. So. Good closet. There's a, another realtor in the mirror yes. there. So laundry room is off here to the right. And you'll see. Oh, wait a second. Does it, does it connect? Oh, it's got the There's shoot. a magic door. Let's find out where it goes. What is, oh, is that the master? No, it's not a master. Oh, I think it's an ordering window for, uh, can I get a, uh, a, a pepperoni pizza? Is with, there a bell to ring? Oh wait, no, it's in the bathroom. It's in, it's in that, the back of the closet, right? Well, that could be really a little creepy. If you have somebody staying with you, and they come in, in laundry room to do laundry and you're- Hey, like, Bob! Yeah, like, okay. oh, hi in the shower, how are you? <laughs> Close the closet door. Yeah, we're gonna, wait, need to put a lock on that. Yeah. All right, nice uh, den or office. Yeah, What one. do they call it here? Well, uh, it's, I think it's a den, I call it an office. Okay. Yeah. So Let's... I think this is the, you could do a third bedroom. You could, yeah. In this. Yep, the nice kitchen layout. It yeah. says the gourmet setup with the Jeff gourmet. Yeah. Because he likes it to make it look like it's a cabinet up above. Yeah. And I like the stainless steel. With lots of buttons. Yeah. Look, there's all kind of buttons on the stove. Look just, at all the buttons. Have you ever needed two ovens? I mean, I know there are people that do. For like Thanksgiving, that's about it. Because you want the turkey in one and everything else cooking in another. Hi, Cracker Barrel? Yeah. <laughs> I need turkey dinner for 20. 
Done. You worked. You were at Johnson West. I was come on now. That's why I don't want to do any more cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, obviously the model homes here. There's nothing like this available. This is all aftermarket yeah. kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. But this has a good separate. So you've got you can put three chairs across the island here, and then have a good space here for a table. And I think you can box in if you can check the thing. I think you can make a wall right out here on the outside. All right, I'm looking. And you can make this another room into a sunroom to add about 100 square feet. Okay. So this part would all still be, you know, covered or screen porch, depending on what you wanted. And then this part here could be part of the house still. Yeah, actually there's a Am whole right? page. There's five different options of what oh can be goodness. done out okay. in this space right here. So yeah, this but can be more square footage. I really like, you the know big me, porch. Yeah. the big porch with two separate, they put yeah. a cool fireplace out here. Yep, that all is aftermarket, so. Yeah, but Mark has a contractor that could do just that Absolutely. for you. Absolutely, he's amazing. Sure. Steve Bizier. And then the beams up top are just decorative, so that's not something they do. They do do the tray ceiling. And I think in the great room here, the tray ceiling is standard, but not anywhere else. Yeah, you can add it to the bedrooms if you wanted to. Or the office. I think just standard here. Yeah. So let's go into the primary. Oh, stairs later. This reminds me of a bee's nest. <laughs> I would have nightmares. Of or an alien. Yeah. Opening the, up. Yeah, one of the things like comes down and Ooh, sucks you up into the spaceship. Yeah. yeah. That's how many uh, people have disappeared. I would have nightmares, <laughs> absolutely. If That's a good room, though. Yeah. All right, here's the master bath, or sorry, primary bath. And so two, oh, this is very sparkly. Look at this. Ooh, there's sparkles in it. Let's see if I can get it off. Oh, I got them. You got sparkles? Yeah, I got sparkles. And then this one has a shower and tub, but you can also go without the tub in here and have a much bigger yeah, shower. Yeah, go all the way down there. Okay, so I'm not There's gonna... There's the room. Oh, it is Wait, in the bathroom. I the thought room. it was a closet. Oh yeah, this is to the no. That's what I'm saying. You can okay. have somebody peek right from the laundry. If you room. leave your washer open, though, it would be like basketball. You could that shoot would be yeah, the, just shooting things yeah. through here into the. That's all I'm going to be able to focus on now for the rest of this house tour. <laughs> I'll show you the closet. I'm throw things from room to room. He's having fun over there. Okay, and the closet's not huge, but still decent. So there's a linen closet out here, the throne room there. Okay. And then this one has an upstairs, so let's go mosey up there. So this with the upstairs turns this into a 2,372 square feet. Okay, pretty good size, as long as you're okay with the stairs. A lot of people like this because if they have people come to visit, it gives them their own separate space. Yeah. So it's, you know, in the same house, but upstairs, a little different feel. You know I gotta open this door. Oh, for sure. Okay, that's the All HVAC. mechanicals in there? Yep. Got a little storage. Oh, and then behind that door, there's going to be some too. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. What? You lost your fuzzy. I dropped my fuzzy. <laughs> I thought it was dust coming out of your pocket. Yeah, you think they'd have a little bit better selection, but we won't hold it against them. So this is like the hybrid. You got the tub, yeah. and then they tiled. Oh, they tiled it. I so like you that. don't have the uh, fiberglass yeah. insert. So it's a little bit nicer than the. I, I like the way that looks. Mm -hmm. My kids would never ever put that curtain in though there would be gallons of water in that Probably. floor so you need the frameless shower yeah plenty big this is a queen size bed it is yes so you see there's room for two you could actually fit a king in here yep without just antennas. one table yeah instead of two this is very nice well, that's it for this one right yeah so let's go see the Palmer. next one the palmery it's a little bit bigger look at the pretty butterflies i'm chasing butterflies with the camera look, it's Wait, like we yeah. it's like we plan this right here Hi, Mr. Butterfly. All right, so we're going in the Palmery now. So it's one of the largest in the distinctive series. Starts at 1858 square feet, I think it was, yep. The one we're seeing here is another 100 square feet. So it's almost 2,000 square feet because it's got a sunroom on it. Okay. So you can get it with the sunroom or without the sunroom. Great front porch. Yes, yes. Definitely could do one of those swings out yeah. here if you wanted to, or you can pick one of the other elevations, remember, you can't have the same elevation as your neighbor though. So, okay, so it's not just about house color, it's about the same elevation. That's right. Yep. So, can't do two Palmery A's. That's right. Right beside each other. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, let's check it out. Oh, I can do the snap. Ready? Didn't work. Well, it was very delayed. It was a delayed snap. Sorry. Right. So, yeah, we got front 
bathroom up here. Oh, here's that same kind of tub. Hybrid in that tub. Other one. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. And then over here, it shows all the, the Del Webb craftsmanship. I don't know all of this stuff because I'm not a builder, but you can see they put in really good windows. That's kind of how the foundation is oh, okay. formed. And then all the different layers attached. behind the, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty neat. That is. And this is probably important just to mention too. So you talk about this all the time with our clients as far as warranties. You've got the one year bumper to bumper is kind of what you call it, right? Yep. Two year mechanical systems. Yep. Five year on different types of water infiltration and leaks. Yep. Which most builders do not have this at all. Yep. And then a 10 year on the structural. And here's the good news is uh, we have yet to have one house implode and fall down on the 11th year. That's right. Yeah. It just doesn't happen. Right. Or at least we don't know about it. Look how happy um. these people are. <laughs> They're so wonderful. They're buying a new house. Why wouldn't they be happy? Yeah, but look at the guy that works here. We're always pointing at <laughs> Here's some other selection too. So, you know, this has the pane door. It normally comes with just a solid door though. Mm -hmm. And then there's one with just two panes at the top. Yep which that one is the most expensive. This is the middle and you can get the clear glass or you can get that rippled glass. Yeah. So people can't see inside. Yeah. So this allows, uh, you know, sunlight to come in. Right. Without people able to see in your gutchies walking by the door. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know that gutchies is a universal That's term a Jeffism, for, for being in your underwear. <laughs> it's a Pittsburgh thing, I guess. Office den. Very nice. It is. Um, so you got a nice little drop zone here going into the the garage. Does this one have the storage upstairs? No. Yes, it does. Yeah, so right, this is a good show. You know what? You yeah, got a little closet go here. And then this is an add-on you can do. I think it's about 20 grand though, if I remember correctly. But it gives you a lot of storage. Space. Yeah, you get a ton of storage up here. Not a ton, but a good amount for somebody hog wild on Christmas for sure. Yeah, and actually in some of these, I've seen them be bigger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, just but the way this model is, there's only so much space. Yep. But when you don't have a basement, a lot of people of ours come from the north. They're used to having basements. Right. And this one is uh, got some extra little. These little spaces like this make a big difference. Oh yeah, you, you can, can store a lot of boxes yeah. and stuff in there. Look, it goes all the way back there. Yeah. All right. And then when we come in here, we got the laundry room over here. I'll let you show that, so I'm not in the way. Look at the size of these machines. <laughs> it's those pedestals. So that they're so up and people don't have to build it, bend over. How do you open this up? Uh, I'm not leaving until I can open it. <laughs> oh, there it is. You got it? Look at that. Oh, you fit four cats in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's definitely a don't four cat Don't let Abby hear you say that. Yeah, your wife's daughter. She's a cat. <laughs> so this I'll is just... tell that story someday about how you tried to keep my children out of your house when you got a cat <laughs> and my, we're all allergic to them. Just an additional storage for mops, rooms, space. or you can use it as a second pantry. Yeah. So this is not your pantry. This is probably my favorite model here. I can see why. Yeah. Nice open. That's the sunroom we were talking about, but let's go over to the pantry first. All right. Because it's definitely worthy of some Costco items on the floor. Yeah. And then you can put all your other stuff on the shelves. Yeah. Andrew orders toilet paper by the truckload. Yeah, yeah. So, so that would fit in there. It would fit in there. I wonder if there's something about my family medically that we need so much toilet paper. <laughs> but check on that. In this plan, look at all this additional cabinet storage. Oh, yeah. Like, you can't go wrong with that. Um, so this is not the gourmet kitchen because it has the slide in range. It's just a nicer range it that really, looks yeah. gourmet. -ish. It does. So just wanted to point that out compared to the last one we were Okay. Missing. Now that's one of the nicest slide-ins I've seen. Right, right. And again, this sunroom, if this wasn't here, you would have porch all the way across. So I think this is only about seven or $8,000 right now, extra to add this room on. So if you're somebody that likes to read and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess it just depends on your, on your lifestyle. Yeah. If, it, if it's something that you need the extra inside air conditioned space, or if you're you know, a big fan of being outside, and this is still plenty big enough porch if you want. Oh, yeah. Room. I mean, look you know at this, I mean? this, this, this. That sectional is huge. You put six, six, seven people out here, so yeah. no problem. Yeah. So oftentimes people, you know, there's there's certain things that builders are really a good value to do. And mm -hmm. some things you, you want to do on your own afterwards, like ceiling fans is one that afterwards, because. Um, Just get the pre-wire. You pick what you like. Yeah. And, and they put the pre-wires in. But I have found that the these concrete pads 
are a good value and the builders put them in so you don't have to have people coming in your backyard. You get the builder or... cost yeah. instead of the retail cost. Yep. So if you want to do add a pad like this, do it during construction. But if you want to do like fancy travertine. The brickwork and do, all that stuff. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the primary bedroom. I see why this is one of your favorite models. Yeah. Oh, so let's talk about fireplaces, Mark. Yes. So this is, I believe, a gas fireplace because it's got the little nozzle here. Oh, it is a gas. Yeah. I was thinking right they were putting electrics in now. Okay. Um, that, I mean, I'm assuming because why else would this be? Here? Yeah. Yeah. But you see there's 36 inches here. Yep. So if you just want the effects and not the actual heat. Hold up. But you can have both I'm on the left. I'm math in my head. Yeah. That ain't no 36 inches. No? That's three feet. One. It's 24, All right. right? So it's 24. All right. I was, I was a little excessive. Mark exaggerates. But I, I had Steve put one in are. my house, and it's only eight inches. Yeah. And it's an electric. Right. That does all different colors. I love yours and so heat. much now. I'm so bummed that I have a gas fireplace like this. Because I can use it all year long. I can use it three, three, four months a year, and it's yours does all kind of pretty colors mm -hmm. and different flames, and it can put heat out if you want it to. Absolutely. Um, got a little HVAC closet here as well. Yep. And then into the primary, they added the tray ceiling. They added crown molding, so crown molding doesn't. So this is the primary primary. Primary. Say, say the fast three times. Go. No. Come on. Uh, primary 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 primary. I did it. Yeah, you was pretty good. All right, we got the car wash shower in this one, Jeff. <laughs> car wash shower. Hey, did you see in that one closet there was a there was a wagon, like a oh yeah, a yeah kids yeah. wagon. You could you could set up a car wash. In yeah, there. that would be fun wagon. for the kids. <laughs> I really like this. Course, Some people yeah. don't like this. I like the big thick veins in it too. Um, but this, I like the way this looks. Yep, sharp. And then this closet is plenty big enough. I'm, I'm breaking our law. I'm yeah, going that's to. That's all right. You're allowed. It's just but me, I feel like I can. No, it's me that's not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Plenty big enough. Then you got a throne room and a linen closet as well. And I think that's it for the Palmery. Yeah. So, uh, I like I said, this. Oh, I love that light. Mm. You like that light? Yeah, I do. And this is this is what I'm talking about with the ceiling fans. No builder offers something super cool hey. like that. That's very close to what I have in my house. Um, I bet you that thing moves a bunch of air. So you're counting. 12. 12. 12, 12 blade fan. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey everybody, we are just inside this beautiful amenity center. As you can see, this room here is kind of like a gathering room. They've got a fireplace over to the right. It becomes a really central community center. Over to the left, when you come in, is a beverage station and coffee. And then you have beautiful Miss Linda here at the front desk. They have a man front desk. So if you have questions about the community or events or anything like that, they're great to help you out as well. So we're in the commercial kitchen right now. It's a great kitchen. It can be used for special events. They have cooking classes in here. And look right across the hall, is a giant community room. So this room can be broken up into three different pieces so you can have separate events in here. And it's also available for a rental for private events and check out the view outside. Outside we have a pool table. Check this out, an awesome fireplace, beautiful areas to sit out here under ceiling fans. And when you feel like grilling out, multiple grills out here and a little kitchen area. So if you want resort style living, this Dell Webb community in Nexton is amazing. Let's go check a look at the pool. You got these beautiful pergolas. They're first come first serve. You've got a hot tub over there. You've got a covered pool area over here. And then you also have the bathing chairs that are set into the pool as well. It's an amazing resort style pool. I think you'll love it. So here we are in one of the fitness rooms that they have here at Dell Webb Nexton. And they do different things like yoga, aerobics. 
And as you can see right now, Jeff is working on his ballet. Check these out. If tennis is your thing, they have four beautiful courts here. And if you're really good and want, want to invite people to watch it, they even have seating for you so you can do your best McEnroe impersonation and people can watch. If you're like me, you might not know what pickleball is because I was from up north. It's kind of a mix between ping pong and tennis. Smaller courts than tennis, a little bit lower speed. If that's your thing, we've got four courts for you here. Bocce ball. That's all I have to say. What else can I say about bocce ball? Actually, nothing. I have no idea what it is, but they have it. So as you can see, two beautiful houses yes. and, and even in the mediums like that palmery up to 2800 square feet with the upstairs i mean there, there's no medium about that and i really like the on the back of that palmery you can have the sunroom or not yeah and that expands that porch really yep. big the sunroom adds about 100 square feet yep and of course the amenity center right yeah I mean, amazing neighborhood yeah. uh if you want to talk about coming in to see these well, easiest way to do it is we can schedule a Zoom call, an in-person meeting. Go down in the description. There's a, a link you can click on. Drops right into our uh, calendars. And so you could totally be stalkers and find out when we're busy, when we're not busy. Yep. Uh, and then the most important thing you need to hear today is... Never, ever, 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 ever. ever. Never, is that ever. how you say it? Never, 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 never. Come in here by yourself. Remember, you want somebody on your side. Um, so there's no disadvantages to hiring us yep. to be your realtor. Uh, most of the time, the builder will pay our commission or the builder's brokerage or brokering out the commission, mm -hmm. yep. however you want to say that. So there's never a bad decision to have somebody on your side because they represent the builder. And remember, we talk about all things Somerville, Charleston, 55 plus the surrounding Charleston area on this channel. So do us a favor, like this video, but also subscribe to the channel, please. And click that little bell so that you're the first to know about all things Charleston, Somerville, 55 plus. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. That's it. Have Until fun. next time. See ya.